Nowadays, more and more companies are making amps that sacrifice on authenticity in order to provide more added functionality in a modern day. We've seen companies release digital versions of their classic valve amps that are normally half the weight, if not more, and with added functionality in inputs and outputs. They often boast valve-like technology or some kind of modeling technology that's emulating the valve sound, which is normally fine and it's a great compromise, especially when it gives you reliability, portability, and extra inputs and outputs like a USB or DIs. But why can't you have both? What if you wanted all of the modern bells and whistles on an amp that's a fraction of the weight but is still a valve amp? Something that doesn't have valve-like technology but that has actual valves inside it? Well, enter St. James from Blackstar. St. James is a brand new line of lightweight valve amps from a company who have earned themselves a pretty decent amount of pedigree in the industry now. And this new release is, as they claim, the lightest 50 watt valve amp on earth. And of course, we've got them here before the launch to put them to the test. In this video, I want to answer what exactly they are and how they've managed their light weight, who they're specifically aimed for, and why you'd consider one in today's market. Named after the area in Northampton, UK, where Blackstar are from, St. James is an example of just how innovative of a company Blackstar can be, not being bogged down with this rich and illustrious history of classic valve amps that people yearn for that tie them into making them over and over again. <laughs> the lightest valve amps that have ever been made. But how have they achieved that? When I spoke to Blackstar about these amps before doing this video, what they told me was that these amps had gone through what they like to call the Formula One process. Meaning that these amps have had every non-essential element stripped off them. Every single part has been looked at and meticulously engineered for its weight saving capabilities. And basically every single pound that they could shed off this amp has been shed. I mean, sure, it's not going around a track at 200 miles an hour, but it's certainly gonna help you when you're carrying it up three flights of stairs to your gig. I mean, I'm not exactly a macho man, but at the same time, I'm not exactly straining whilst lifting these up. So from that process, there are a couple of key areas that have really helped with that weight reduction. Firstly, the frame of the amp has been made by a very lightweight candle nut pine, as opposed to a Baltic birch, which normal valve amps are made out of because it tends to be a bit of a stronger wood. It also tends to be way heavier, so the candle nut pine is really helping with the weight saving. Secondly, not only did Blackstar go through this meticulous weight saving process, but so did their speaker supplier, Celestian. They custom designed their new Celestian Zephyr speaker specifically for this amp. So lighter frame and lighter speaker. But there's a third last area of the amp that always makes up a massive proportion of a valve amp's weight. And that is the transformers. So normally when you pick up a classic valve amp, particularly a head where they're quite long, normally one side tends to be a lot heavier than the other. Well, that side is always the side that has the transformer in. Now I'm venturing into a territory here I'm not exactly an expert on, so cut me some slack in the comments. But the basic principle of the power unit in a valve amp is that it's made up of a number of different transformers that can make the power different wattages depending on the different power requirements of the amp. For example, if you're pushing the valves and the amp at maximum volume and maximum gain to within an inch of its life, it's gonna be using considerably more power than if you turn it all the way down and play a nice little quiet twinkly bit in your pre-chorus or something. Classically, valve amps needed multiple transformers in order to cater to those different power draw requirements. The difference between a classic valve amp and these new Blackstar St. James is the fact that Blackstar have gone with an all new switch mode power supply 
for these amps. A switch mode power supply is basically capable of providing variable and all different types of current draw that the amp needs for varying volume and power requirements. Obviously, this means it's much, much lighter than the power supply in a classic valve amp without the need for all of these multiple transformers to power the different volumes. As with everything on this amp, it's been specifically designed for this range and it's obviously gone through all of the same weight saving processes to make it as light as possible. I mean, at this point, I might just send myself off to Blackstar to see if they can't help me shed a few pounds. The other great thing about this power supply is that it's now enabled these amps to be used in any country around the world without the need for any kind of voltage switches or transformers to cater to different voltages in different countries. Okay, so that's a lot about the weight of the amps. Let's jump into the actual amps themselves. So if you've seen any of the press images already, or if you literally look behind me, you can see that the amp comes in two versions. The blonde one, or as they call it, Fawn, is called the St. James EL34 because it's got EL34 valves in it. And the black one is called the St. James 6L6 because you guessed it, it's got 6L6 valves in. Each amp comes as either a 50 watt combo, as I've played today, or it comes as a 50 watt head with a two by 12 vertical cab that you can see behind me here. What's great about the cabs as well is that they can be open back or closed back because the back of the cabinet can literally just be pulled off with Velcro. So that's really useful. In terms of the difference between the two, typically the EL34 is a bit cleaner and it's a bit warmer sounding. It's a bit more kind of under control, whereas the 6L6 is brighter, is a bit brashier, and definitely on the overdrive channel, you're gonna notice that it's a lot more high gain. There are three different power modes on it that you can switch between. So you have 50 watt, you can also drop it all the way down to two watts, which obviously means that you can push the valves to within an inch of their life without blowing your windows out in terms of volume and there's also a third option as well which allows you to add in the original kind of sag sound that you would get from a classic valve amp. Basically, SAG is a quirk with classic valve amps where the power supply voltage droops in response to large transient changes in the volume. Basically, when the amp goes from really quiet to really loud and it has to ramp up on the current draw, as we've already discussed. It adds to the dynamic feel of a classic valve amp, but because of the switch mode power supply, this effect is essentially negated. However, they have added the SAG option to artificially bring back the feel of that voltage droop into these amps for people who might want it. To be honest to my ear, it sounds pretty good either way, but if you want it, it's there. On both amps on channel one, they're voiced to sound like a certain Californian company's classic clean sparkly tube amps. I'm not naming any names here, you can fill in the blanks. On the EL34 on channel two, it's voiced to sound like a certain British company's very classic clean amp. Again, not naming any names, but they rhyme with socks. When you hit the boost on channel two on the EL34, you're getting a 10 dB clean boost. I mean, it's nothing too crazy, but it's great if you need a little bit of a lift mid song.
generally it's a fairly clean amp which nothing too out of control and serves fairly nicely as a pedal platform. I mean if you drop it to 2 watts and really crank the gain then yeah you can get some crunch and drive out of it but generally speaking it's all fairly under control. Now the St. James 6L6 on the other hand is certainly a much more higher gain sound as we've already discussed. It's voiced to sound like a certain famous British amp stack, again I'll let you guess which one, and it's got a boost on top of that that acts as a kind of saturated high gain switch which makes it sound a little bit like a 5150 or a 6 505 or something like that. You're definitely going to hear some of that waspy distortion sound that you would associate with those amps and people like Eddie Van Halen. Again there's loads of things I could talk about in terms of the tone of these amps but I don't want to ramble on too much so you can just have a little listen to them and see what you think. Next, I want to talk about what's probably one of the best features of this amp, which aside from its lightweight and versatile output options, is the built-in reactive load. That's right, you've got an inbuilt reactive load that allows you to run the amp silently into the load box. They've got their own cab rig software that allows you to set up your own IRs, including cab simulations, different mics and different placements, and all sorts of other features. What this means is you can run the amp silently if you're recording or if you're going straight into a desk on the stage just by putting the amp on standby and just plugging into the DI on the back. And what's great is all of the technology for it is in the actual amp. 
the software for the Mac and PC that you can download, that's just controlling it. Everything's already built in there. So once you set it up, you can just take it out and you have your presets already in there. There's three of them you can save and you can switch between them really easily on the back. It's so good and it's in an amp that costs not much more than some of the better reactive load boxes that you can get on the market. Probably not the best moment to point out that we got a cool new neon sign. Obviously nothing against top boxes, they are great for getting the best out of your classic valve amps. What I'm just saying is on the St. James, you don't need them. And that was the brand new St. James series from Blackstar. Whether you like them or not, I think it's fair to say that what Blackstar have done here in terms of the engineering and what they've added into these amps is nothing short of impressive. It's been designed and engineered to be really lightweight with loads of modern features and versatility, yet it still retains all of the classic feel and sound of a classic valve amp. And it has actual valves in it. There's none of this valve technology or valve-like or valve modeling. It's got actual valves, which is just great. They've also given their logo a little spruce up and the logo lights up on all the amps, which is, you know, just nice. So yeah, this thing is a serious piece of kit. It's functional. It has everything in it that a pro musician could need, whether you're using it in your bedroom, in a recording studio, or if you're taking it out on tour with you. This thing can be your one-stop shop for a valve amp. If you'd like more information on these amps, then of course you can check them out on our website, the links for which will be in the description. What are your thoughts though? Are you a fan of Blackstar? Are you a Valve Amp purist? Are you quite happy to go with Valve-like technology or just go with solid state? Let us know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to see more things like this, and we will see you very soon. <laughs>